Um, we've had three billion years of evolutionary design to get us to this point uh, of where we are now. So we're all able to think, do, feel and sense. So over that time, especially in the, 300, 000, the previous 300,000 years, uh, those are all the tools we've needed to adapt and change. So we don't need to make it any more complicated. However, much like personality profiling, if you've ever gone through something like that, basically we've got these four intelligences, cognitive, behavioral, uh, uh, social, and emotional. The, the problem is we can't be all things to all people. And that's why leadership isn't about one person necessarily. It's more like a field of energy. And depending on what the situation or the event needs at that time, depends on whether we need to think, uh, sorry, think, or whether we need to react, whether we need to empathise with other people, and whether we need to perceive what's going on in the um, area. We, we kind of need all, all four of them, really. So it's a good idea, rather than try to be all things to all people, which means that you'll fail, um, is understand, you know, the, the Greeks say self-awareness is the um, beginning of all wisdom. So understand what you're good at, understand what your team are, and Really, it's about leveraging the potential of yourself, the group, and the situation to achieve a positive outcome. So it means really having a more of a coaching, facilitating uh, style most of the time. There's a time when you need to kind of think and do quickly, and command and control is necessary, but that's only about 5% of the time when something goes wrong, for instance. The rest of the time, it's more of a facilitation of all these intelligences within your group and understanding what they're all about. This is the kind of thing we cover in our workshops.